hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i am going to slay for bay because it's valentine's day <laughs> okay so first i'm going to part my hair from ear to ear and basically this is where my bun is going to sit on the top of my head And once that is parted, I'm just going to use a ponytail holder just to tie off the top part so it doesn't interfere with the back. So now I'm just going to take and part my hair directly down the middle of my head. And then once I get that section, I'm going to find a point kind of like in the middle and I'm just going to carve out half of a heart shape. And I'm not going to lie, I am high key surprised at how clean that came out. Like, first attempt, I was very proud. <laughs> so now I'm just going to braid this section down really loosely. Um, that's just to kind of get that hair out the way because my priority will be the braid in the center of the heart. So I'm just going to braid that down, get, out, get that out the way, and I am going to twist that half of heart down so that I can start working going the other side and I'll do the exact same thing to the other side of my head And as you can see, a heart has been created in the middle of my hair. So now I'm just going to braid down the outer section of that so that I can focus on the heart that I'm going to be braiding on the inside of my hair. Now before I braid the center, I'm going to take this camera soakening mist and I am going to just spray it down and flat iron my hair, flat iron, I can't say that word, flat iron my hair and I'm only going to flat iron the outer portion of the heart. I don't need to flat iron all of the hair, I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth um, when I create that braid. Now I'm just going to take my good handy dandy gyra edge control and just tap that on the edge, not the edge, I guess the root of my hair and just smooth it down with my brush and now I just begin to create a braid. And instead of doing it outward, I'm braiding it inward. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I probably should know. I guess it's like considered an actual French braid. So that's what I'm doing down the center of my hair, um, a French braid. And yeah, I'm just going to braid it until I get to the bottom of the heart. And voila, the braid has been created. It actually looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a rubber band just to secure that. And I'm going to take down the loose part, um, the end of the braid. I'm just going to take that down so that I can actually add that into the braids that will be going up into the bun. So I'm just going to tap my roots with that same gyra edge control and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the inner braid that I'm going to do with the outer braid. Um, and so I'm just going to brush it, smooth it down and once I get to the bottom I'm going to take that loose end of the French braid and that's going to be the starting point for my regular braid. I don't know what that braid is called. Is it a Dutch braid? You guys comment below and let me know what these braids, the technical terms of these braids are called because I'm from the hood and we just call it braiding. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm just going to use the end of the inner braid and I'm going to use it as my starting point for the outer braid. And I'm literally just going to braid it all the way up the shaft until I get to the top of the heart. And if you guys want to see more creative hairstyles like this, please just comment, let me know below, and I will do my best to create them. Because all I know is Bay better be so happy about my sleigh because I am putting in work right now. Um, this is actually a very simple style. I've been braiding my own hair since I was about six years old. So like this type of stuff is super easy for me, but it can require some work. So all I know is Bay better be proud of me. Even though I don't have a bae, I was just making this video because I wanted to slay for Valentine's Day, but why not slay for bae? Like, let's just make him exist in some form, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I am just doing the exact same thing on the other side of my hair. Um, sorry about that rant. I ain't got no bae, y'all. But I just thought the title was cute and I thought my hair was cute. So I'm like, it's Valentine's Day. So why not? If y'all do got a bae, you know, maybe y'all can do this style and, you know, y'all can go out and slay together. Like, you know. <laughs> All right. Now the hard part is done. I got my heart in the back of my head. So now I am ready to put my hair up in a bun. So I'm just going to take a rubber band and I'm going to secure the loose ends and I'm just going to go ahead and tighten that and that is going to go up in my ponytail. So now I'm just going to brush my hair up and I am going to take a slight break because my face is looking mad greasy and hit so I am about to be back and do my makeup. And voila, oh my gosh, you did that. Yes, you did. Oh my goodness. Wow, I am proud of myself. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of this braiding hair, that Dollar Biba braiding hair. Got it from my local beauty supply store. I don't really know where you can get it. I'm very cheap, so I always try to go for the cheapest stuff that I can find. So I'm just going to kind of lightly pull the ends of the hair so that it can kind of... Um, I don't really know, but I just pull the ends of the hair so that when I wrap it around, I don't have to use bobby pins um, to secure it. I can just secure it with the ends. So now I'm just going to take this uh, Silk Elements Edge Gel and I'm just going to smooth down um, my hair. And I'm just going to do that just like I did in the last video. And after I do that, I'm just going to brush it so that it's nice and smooth so I can have a snatched ponytail, you know? And once that's all smooth, I'm just going to take a rubber band and I'm just going to secure my ponytail and make it nice and tight, but not too tight because I don't like a lot of tension, but tight enough to where that hair will not move. And so I'm just going to take the band from the weave and I'm just going to wrap it around my hair. And as you can see, like my hair is jet black, like it's my natural color. So I always have to go with like a jet black color and it matches the weave like perfectly almost so I'm just going to take a little bit more of that um, edge control and I'm just going to smooth it onto my hair so that when I wrap the weave around my hair won't stick through and so now I'm just going to take my time and I'm just going to create a bun um, social media did not like that last bun like you guys Kaloki fried me for making it all messy and such but I don't think a lot of people watch the YouTube video because I explained how I like a messy bun so I try to make it a little more neat for you guys this time even though it's still a little bit messy for my liking but I try to make it a little bit more you know a little bit more neat for you guys so maybe you'll like this one a little better <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm at the ends, as you can see, I can just wrap that around the ends, just or wrap the ends around the bun just to secure it. Um, that way I don't have to use bobby pins to keep the bun in place. And you guys know it is always critical 
for me to hit those edges okay i have to lay these edges down they always complete the look that's nothing new um so yeah i'm just going to lay those edges down and you know finish off this look It's Valentine's Day, so it's okay to be a little bit extra. Um, so I decided to put some glitter on my lips. I actually got this glitter from Joanne Fabrics. Um, it was a sample pack, I believe. And so I just bought, you know, a whole bunch of glitter. And since my lips were pretty uh, wet from all that lipstick I put on, um, I went ahead and dabbed some of that glitter on there just to kind of make my lips look a little more bold and brighter. Then I thought to myself, should I OD it and put it in a bun too? Hmm, why not? Oh well, went ahead and <laughs> sprinkled some of that glitter up in that bun. And I thought it was a really, really good idea to do this at first. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cute. Then I added some gold glitter and I was just kind of like, all right, we are starting to look a little Christmassy here. But it kind of turned out all right and this here is the final look i think it turned out amazing um so this is my completed look my valentine day slay for bay heart shaped updo um so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and all these slow-mos <laughs> um if you do like it please thumbs up subscribe comment share it let me know what you guys think um, but I am ready for my date, so I love you guys, and I will see you in my next upload.